Adjusting your ski binding is very important because if you are not tight enough at the slightest bump, you risk to lose your skis. On the opposite, if the binding are too tight and you fall, you risk to hurt yourself. So adjusting your binding is essential for your safety. My name is Johan. I'm product manager at Wetze. I've been working at Decathlon for 14 years now, and together we'll see how to adjust your bindings. It's not complicated at all. To adjust your bindings, it takes about 10 minutes. It's easy to do, and you can do it by yourself with only one tool, a crosshead or a flat screwdriver. Today we'll see how to set up ski bindings. We will work specifically on bindings that are mounted on rails, which are different from bindings that are screwed directly in the skis, like those ones. Those bindings are mounted by professional in ski workshop. We won't be talking about those ones today. So the first step before uh, setting up your bindings would be to define the length of the binding. To do that, you have to look for the value of the length of the sole of your boots. Um, you usually can find it on the inside of the boot, uh, written next to the sole. For this one, it's a sole that is 315 millimeter, so from back to front. So I need to find this value on the binding now. To find the value, it's pretty easy. It's written uh, on the plate. And you can find it here on the front plate, the value from 315 to 322. So that matched the 315 here. And then the back plate from 311 to 318, that matched the 315 here as well. When this is done, the length of the binding is all right. You can try to put in your boots in binding uh, and that you are in the binding, you have a pressure marking on most of the binding. Uh, check the manual of the of your binding brand to see where it is. On this Tiroila binding, it's at the back of it. Um, without the shoe, you have a marking of uh, five little marks here. Once the shoe is in it, it's back at three marks, which shows that we are pretty much centered uh, pressure-wise in the binding, so that's correct. The next step for you now is to uh, set up um, the DIN of your binding. The DIN, uh, you can set it up on the front and on the back, and the DIN is important because it's a security setting. Um, this uh, setting will allow the boots to get out of the binding more easily, depending on your level, your weight, and the situation you're in when you fall or when something happens. So that's very important to take care of this uh, setting and to make sure it's accurate with respect to all these um, this informations. To give you a specific example, I'll take my uh, settings. Uh, so I weigh 90 kilos. I'm uh, 190 centimeters height. I'm 37 years old. I have a medium to a uh, good level in ski. And uh, with these boots would be 315 millimeters length. All those settings on the ISO ski um, application or website gives you a DIN of 8.5. This is the measurement that you want to put back in your binding. To do this on this binding, uh, you just screw or unscrew um, the screw on the side and you have a small marking that goes between 8 and 9, which give you the 8.5 setting. And same thing at the back of the binding, the big screw at the back, and you find a way to get the red marking between eight and nine to go to 8.5. The last setting for your binding would be to set up the height of the binding. So the anti-friction device on the front of the boot that goes in contact with the sole. To do that, you'll need the crosshead screwdriver and a thin piece of paper. You can insert the piece of paper in between the AFD and the sole of the boot. Once you have space, it's easy to insert. And with the front screw, you get, you get the AFD up until the piece of paper doesn't move anymore. It's fine tuning. So the piece of paper doesn't move anymore. And then I get it done a little bit until I have a little bit of, uh, of strength in it. And I can get it out. So now we're done with the first ski. Uh, you do the exact same thing with the second ski. Um, and as you've seen, it's pretty simple to uh, properly set up your bindings for a safe riding experience. Setting up correctly your binding will allow you um, to not lose your ski on the slopes or not getting any injuries. So it's pretty important to follow all the steps that we've been talking about. 
If you have any doubt, any questions, or if you are stuck with any settings of your banding, do not hesitate to go to see a professional guy in a ski workshop. He will help you with all that. All right, guys, so now you're ready to enjoy your session. Yeah.